Well, first of all, I have to say so very, very heartily thank you for inviting me and keeping being the enthusiast that you are. <laughs> and one day I will absolutely try and make it. This time, unfortunately, it is the World Skills Competition in Kazan, mm. where 1,600 young people are going to compete in more than 50 professional and vocational skills. Oh, nice. Uh, anything from uh, plumbers to future technologies are involved mm. and uh, Norway are traveling with a team and we're going to take back a lot of medals nice. as we always do. Yeah. yeah, good luck with that. So sorry for not being able to be there because uh, women in VR, VR in, in you know all aspects, absolutely fascinating and uh, to um, the uh, Norwegian Confederation of Trade Unions. Mm -hmm. uh, why are we interested in this? Well, obviously because uh, the Norwegian work life has a long-standing tradition uh, in dealing with technology shifts mm -hmm. um, and also uh, both the social dialogue and the unions have played a major part yes. in dissemination of technology mm -hmm. into productive um, uh, work life and economic benefits to yes. societies to help us build a welfare society basically everything hmm. so it is actually at the core of why we are interested in any kind of productive technology obviously knowing that you have to have a period of development hmm. um, and um, as it is now I feel that that the, this community of uh, virtual reality is, is trying to tell Norwegians, tell the Norwegian society, tell Norwegian work life, uh, what can we do with this sort of technology. Yes. Um, myself, I work with uh, education and uh, training policies, mm -hmm. uh, so it's, it's uh, obviously uh, something that um, my view is in the perspective of how you could use it in education. Yes. And we have been speaking before yeah. uh, about why, uh, for instance, career guidance mm -hmm. could be uh, a very interesting field yeah, definitely. To, to try out. Uh, and I think that the more uh, throughout, I think now about 30 years of experience in working with education in one way or the other mm. uh, and competence policies for work yes, life. Yes. Um, I am absolutely certain that we need to um, help young people and adults yeah. in a much larger scale to rethink careers, mm. uh, to um, find the right niche and to find and grow their skills yeah. in, in managing uh, career uh, opportunities yep. shifts and and uh, so so people aren't really going to stay in the same job as they did for Not 50 all. years we all know yeah, that yeah, it, yeah. this change happened a long time exactly, ago yeah. already uh, but so what specifically well um, obviously because you can do in VR everything you can't do in uh, RL real life <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, and uh, it would be wonderful if we could have uh, the politicians, mm. uh, the headmasters, uh, the teachers interested in trying out yeah. more uh, new technology, uh, and and it's uh, I think I work a lot with vocational uh, training and education. Mm. And in these uh, areas, you have already met quite uh, a substantial amount of digitalization. Yes. I managed to say the word. <laughs> oh, well, and um, I think um, this is the next step to build uh, everything into uh, put the technology to use. Mm -hmm where it has uh, an advantage yeah. because i don't believe in the technology run the world no like that no no uh, aided technology aided yeah uh, because uh, you always have to have a conversation definitely but that's how we were built yes 
And so, uh, and that's how we build our technology as well. <laughs> it should be. It yeah. should be that we decide uh, what are this technology going to perform of uh, enhancing our lives, yeah. not disrupting or setting people on, uh, you know, uh, even more psychologists uh, waiting. For <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so <coughs> not so, needed. No, not needed. But that means we have to have um, uh, the whole of the society has to engage in. What can we do with this technology mm. that would benefit us? Yeah. Obviously, it's happening. Yeah. Uh, but I think perhaps too many people don't really know much about what is VR. What yeah. is it actually? Still. Uh, my generation mm. don't know. My generation don't either. <laughs> oh, you're young. <laughs> then we have a problem. I, I don't think this is an age question anymore. I think no. technology is coming in so fast that people just don't have enough time uh, or resources or access. Yeah. So that's may maybe where it all needs to start, like a laboratory somewhere where people can get introduced and then try to see what kind of spin-offs come out of it. Yes. Yeah. We should have something here in the building, maybe. Yes. I think maybe a road show. I don't know. I mean, you know, we can set up all sorts of ideas. Mm. Uh, and and I would welcome anybody with a good idea of mm. you know how could we help support uh, speeding up this process. Obviously, all the social partners, not just Elo, but 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 all of us, yeah. have a great influence if we pull together. Mm -hmm. So I think perhaps our invitation is is um, just to to see what would the next step be. Yeah. We are going to go forward and try and see if if Oslo uh, would be interested in in just doing a little piece of an idea. Mm -hmm. That was so your pitch. To, to, yes, yes. Yes. To show people what it could be, because as you say, when when you don't really know the technology, you don't really know what it could be used for. Yeah. You have to be able to show people straight off. So, exactly. what's the idea? What can we do? Mm -hmm. Why should we do it in VR yeah, definitely. when we can do it in, in the normal world? ways? Yeah, we have to answer these questions in mm. a proper way. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Thank you very much for taking the time. I hope that people listening to your words are inspired and triggered, and some synapses <laughs> <be later, laughs> because this, you know, oh. and the synapses flying off the grid. So <clears throat> we will have you with us again uh, for the next VR event. Uh, for now, we will wish you good luck uh, and to on you your trip. Too. Thank you very and, much. And to all the wonderful women that is in that program, <laughs> I wish I could be there. You will be with us in video. And then yeah. hopefully you could tune in because uh, this will be on a live stream uh, and you can check it out. I will do. I will do. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>